Uh, good evening. Uh, this is Ibuani. I am your teacher from 10 times better generation school ministries. The ministry is headed by senior pastor Buderi. And ours is to equip the saints that when we move from success to significance, we continue with creation where God has left it off. Uh, this is session number 19 of the faith man. And we did say, God is something special, powerful, just lined up for you today. So you better listen up, get your heart receptive, shut down any noise that may be hindering you from the word. And just know, this one, this one is for you. This very word is for you. And pay attention. We'll start off with a word of prayer. Praying for the word. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for you and your word. You are one. We are thankful that, Father, when we have you, we have your word. We are thankful that, Father, when we subject our lives to the word, our lives, they will no longer be the same. Never, never, never. We know that, Father, as we continue to do your word, we continue to imitate you, as Ephesians 5, 1 says. And we are rest assured that, Father, when we imitate you, God, we will get the results of you, God. We are rest assured that we are not moved by, by what we see, Lord, we move what we see by what we believe. We believe that, Father, your promises for our lives, they are yes and they are amen. We believe that, Father, when we get your word, indeed we will move from success to significance. We will grow from one level of victory to the other because success and victory, they are ours. Because we are, Lord, both male, female, faith, men. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Amen, and amen. Without wasting time, we will start off in our key scripture. And what the Lord has in store for us is pertaining to the new year. The word of God says we need to declare the end in the very beginning. The very beginning of things, we say what which we wish to see as the outcome. And what we are talking about today is not obedience only. It is obedience and also doing the word. It is obedient and applying our faith where we ought to. And when we apply the faith, we do that which the word of God says we should do. We continue with creation where, we, where God has left it off. We open our mouths and speak. And what do I mean? Obedience. Then and, and, and next year, we are applying our faith in as far as the new year is concerned. We are speaking to the new year and telling it what we wish to accomplish. We are not waiting for the 31st of December to start, um, what do you call them? New Year's resolutions. We are resoluting already. We are working out the year already and we are doing it now and we are doing it by faith why because the word of god says declare the very end at the very beginning of things ephesians 5 verse 1 i'll start reading now therefore become imitators of god copy him and follow his example when you copy god what are we copying we are copying that god is a life-giving spirit he opens his mouth and he speaks he called things to be because hey everything that was made that was ever made we understand that none of it was made without the word and we are if we are to copy god and become imitators of god then we open our mouths and we speak we imitate our father by speaking his word by calling things to be by casting the new year unto him and say father we don't know what 2022 has in store for us but we create 2022 we say what 2022 is going to have for us it is a year of abundance a year of overflow a year of good success a year of healing a year of lord prosperity a year of restoration of all that the locust has eaten 
but it all takes you to be obedient and speak the word and do as the word of God says you ought to do, as you ought to, to imitate God, the Father, the life-giving spirit, because you also, you are a life-giving spirit, and you are continuing with creation. Where God has left it off. You are made in the express image and the likeness of God. I want to remind you that as such, you yourself, you are like God, you are God here on earth. Because God has given the earth to us to subdue it, to rule over it, to dominate in it. Because here, yeah, we are kings. Amen. Remember, there is no gender in the kingdom of God. When, when I say you are a king, you, both male and female, you are kings. And you are continuing with creation where God has left it off. Quick confession as we move on to the next one. Did say it will be brief. Thank you, Father. I mean, you repeat after me. Thank you, Father. For the Lord, I cast all my cares, my concerns unto you. I am an imitator of you, God. I copy your example. I call things to be, and they be. I am obedient, and that's why I do what your word says. That's why I imitate you. That's why I speak your word. That's why, Lord, I dedicate my 2022 unto you. And I know and I am rest assured that, Father, my plans, my purpose, that you which, Father, you set out in my heart it shall be accomplished in jesus mighty name amen we're moving on in strong matthew chapter 6 verses 34 it says that so do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself it says that each day has enough trouble of its own each day has enough trouble of its own what is the essence? Instead of worrying, you put the word. Instead of worrying about 2021, you send the word. You send the word to be the one that deals with the new year that's coming. You send the word to accomplish that which you purpose. You send the word to heal your 2022. You send your word and you say, Lord, as you said in your word, you take God to his word and put him to account and say, Lord, as you've said in your word, as you've purposed in your word, I cast everything that concerns my new year unto you. I am not worried about 2022, but I am rest assured that, Father, as says, I've cast it all to you, your plans, your will, your purpose for my life, it shall be accomplished. Your will is that which you have put in our hearts, Lord, big, small, scary, but we know that, Father, we shall emerge victorious. We know that, Father, through the hardships, through the trials, through the tribulation, you will see us through. That is Matthew 6, 34 saying, do not worry about tomorrow. The reminder is not to worry. Worry, some can say, would kill you much faster than any disease because it is uncontrollable. And it affects your spirit. So do not worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Take that by faith. Because each day indeed has enough trouble of its own. And each passing day, each day that comes, doesn't come and find us of God. We present each day to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Quick confession, we're moving on to the next. You repeat after me. Father, I do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. 2022, Lord, will worry about itself. Each day, Lord, has enough trouble of its own. And therefore, Lord, we send out your word for tomorrow, for 2022, and for all the other years and the other days are yet to come. And we say, Father, there in them we shall find good success. There in them we are victorious. There in them, Lord, we continue with creation where Christ has left it off. And there in them, Lord, we will continue to be victorious. 
to be healthy, to be of a sound mind, to be profitable, to be loved of you, to be victorious, Lord, in all that we do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We say, Lord, as we begin or prepare for our 2022, we look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, which reads that, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all. That's the key part. Once and for all. And when, when you cast, you cast once and for all. You don't look back. Oh, let me start again. Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on who on him for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully what does this mean it means that for 2022 as we prepare for it as we make sure that when it comes we are ready and it is ready for us we are saying to 2022 we cast you on to the lord we say all our worries, all the anxieties we we, we we have had, or we probably have for the year, we say we cast it all to the Lord, knowing that whatever we anticipate as lack, whatever we anticipate as difficulties, whatever we anticipate not to go in our favor, we cast it all to the Lord. And we know that He cares very, very carefully for us. He watches over us. And Lord is the one who will make sure that all our trials, all our troubles, all our tribulations, He's made a way for us. And I'm rest assured that in 2022, as we cast it to Him, we start the year off in a position of victory, a position of uh, dominance, a position of saying, we've cast all our cares, all our concerns, all our worries, all our anxieties to God. And as we have done that, then we enjoy of His fullness. We enjoy of His finished work. We enjoy of His benefits. And we know that, and I rest assured, that God has in store and has planned for us everything that we need in this life and the life to come in 2022 as well and the years that come. Before we wrap up, I'm going to get to the confession of this one. You repeat after me. Father, I thank you for your awesome. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you, Lord, for as your word has said, I've cast all my anxieties. I've cast all my worries, all my concerns for 2022 once and for all to you lord for i know that lord you care about me with deepest affection and you watch over me very carefully and that's why i say in 2022 lord in all i do i am successful in all i do i do not worry in all i do lord I am rest assured that, Lord, your promises for my life, they are yes and they are amen. I am rest assured that, Lord, you will watch over me completely. And I am rest assured that, Lord, all the years, Lord, that the locusts have eaten, all the years, Lord, that the locusts have stolen, you are restoring in 2022. I don't know how you will do it, but I know that you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now in wrapping up, we have two more. Hopefully we get to all of them. Um, I'll start off with this one. Hebrews 11, verses 1 to 2. Remember we are faith men. Continuing with creation where God has left it off. It reads that now faith is the assurance. Title deed 
I want to remind you that you only get a title deed once you have paid in full. <laughs> Woo! Confirmation, again, it says. That is faith of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen. Woo. The conviction of their reality, that it is done, that it is come to pass, that God has done it. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. For by this kind of faith, the man of old gained divine approval. Let me repeat this one as we wrap up. Faith is the assurance that what we just said previously, the previous confession we just made about 2022. Faith is the assurance. Faith is the confirmation. Just when we said it, faith is instant. Faith is present. Faith is now. We are rest assured that just when we said it, it was done. God has done it. Faith gives us the evidence that those things not seen have been done already. It is the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. The physical senses cannot see or perceive what we just spoke about 2022. But we are rest assured that that confession that we've made, we are rest assured that by faith as we speak, that we cast it all unto God without worry, without fear, without trembling. By faith we understand that indeed as we opened our mouths and said, it is done in Jesus' mighty name. And nothing is left but just physical manifestation of it. We just ought to thank God for he has done it. God who is promised, who is faithful, has done it all for us. I want to say to you, if you've not already started, start talking to your 2022. If you've not already started, start planning and putting what 2022 says belongs to you. We start by declaring the end from the beginning. We say things by faith because when we say by faith, we are rest assured that it is done and God who has promised is faithful. He does it. We say and we speak the word of God out of obedience. Because God says, Beloved children, be therefore imitators of God the Father, the life-giving Spirit. As we make our last confession, you repeat after me. I understand that, Father. By faith, I have assurance that in 2022, my year is that of abundance in health, in wealth, in a good success. By faith, this is confirmed in Hebrews 11 verses 1. For I know that the things that I hope for, they are divinely guaranteed in Jesus' mighty name. I know that there is evidence of all of this that I confess. That it is a year of abundance. It is a year of restoration. It is a year of good success. It is a year of divine health. Because I say so for my life with my own mouth and I say so because I've cast all my cares all my concerns all my worries unto the Lord and I know that though I do not experience it with my physical senses yet I know that it is done I know that it is finished I know that in 2022 you I abound in every good work. It is my year of abundance. It is my year of doing great. It is my year of continuing with creation where God has left it off. It is my year, Lord, of growth. It is my year, Lord, of multiplication. It is my year, Lord, of increase. It is my year, Lord, 
of doing great and mighty exploits. And I declare all of this in Jesus' mighty name. And I am rest assured that it is done through Christ Jesus. This is Limuani. I am your teacher from 10 times better generation school ministries. The ministry is headed by Senior Pastor Buderi. This was the Faith Men session number 19. We are wrapping up. So go back, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share with as many people as you can. We, we would love to hear, to reach 100 subscribers before the end of the year. Thousands possibly, but ours is to teach the word, ours is to equip the saints. And ah, collectively we share the word and we all benefit. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great week further. Be even more blessed. You are blessed to be a blessing. Amen and amen and amen.